This is a uh, a song I wrote. Well, I was in Sydney actually when I wrote this one. Um, it's called the Japanese Wailing Song, <laughs> and uh, I wrote it because I was in a, a shanty session on the James Crater. Yeah, I, I spent, not the James Square. Well, I was calling it the Jen <laughs> I was calling it the Jenny Craig last week. In my, in my memory, in my mind, it was a much smaller boat. Uh, <laughs> Thinner at least. <laughs> Boom, like that. What? Not a boat. Oh, it's a big wooden thing that floats. Could be a plank for all I know. It's a great, huge, three mastered plank um, called the Jenny Squire. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were down in the hold, uh, where shanty singers should be, uh, singing. We were doing a round, you know. And it came, and Marina was with her. And she, I said to her, Listen, I said, if the Japanese have such a history of waving, so why don't they have a whaling shanty, Japanese whaling shanty? And she said, write it. And I went, okay, I will. Ha, ha, ha. And I went off to do so. Unfortunately, I got all confused because it was I thought it was Remembrance Day, but it actually wasn't. I got the wrong date as well. Um, so I'd forgotten it was Remembrance Day, which happens to me. <laughs> I don't pay attention sometimes. Um, very famously, back in Townsville, a long time ago, back in Townsville, yeah, when, I was, involved. when I was young and foolish. <laughs> <laughs> there may have been red wine involved. <laughs> um, when I was young and foolish in Townsville, uh, I was making marijuana butter. And to do that, you have to boil it for about four hours. It's, it's quite complicated. Well, it's not complicated, but it takes a while. And you do it outside because it stinks the house out. So you do that, and then you end up with this big um, sort of wad of green butter, which looks very handsome. You can cook with it. And so I made Anzac cookies. <laughs> uh, very patriotic. And I, I called them magic Anzac cookies, <laughs> lest we remember. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so that was a long time ago. Anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> that's what I've got to hear for. Oh, that's right, that's good. Thing. So, so I got confused with what they were. And so I ended up writing it to this tune, which you'll recognise when I start. It's an Eric Bogle song called uh, The Band Play Waltz and Matilda. Uh, now, two things happened. One is I had the great pleasure of playing this in front of Eric at Illawarra Festival just this year, beginning of this year. He was standing over there. And it's the first time ever I've had an entire audience looking there. <laughs> so you, they're all looking there. He's looking in my ear. I can feel the daggers, you know. <laughs> But I'd warned him I was going to do it. And I'm looking over there, sort of like this. And uh, we got away, and he, he, he liked it. So he, he walked past me as it came off and said, You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Do I need to tell you anything else? The. Oh, you need to know about minky. Know about min minky whales? They're the ones that the Japanese whalers are catching at the moment. They're about 40 foot long, they weigh about 40 tons. Uh, M-I-N-K-E, that's the important thing, there's an E at the back. Uh, the mink, M-I-N-K, is about that long and furry and can be worn around the neck <laughs> once it's killed and emptied. Uh, the, there was a, due to a tragical spelling error, there was a Japanese fashion display. <laughs> it's been horribly wrong. All these tiny little Japanese models trying to wear 40 ton of blubber as a, <laughs> a minky stole. And it was driving their little high heels straight into the, the uh, cement. It was very ugly. So, that's all you need to know. Minky whales, and uh, there is, of course, a bit in it for you. And uh, you'll see your bit when it comes along. The Japanese whaling song. Now, when I was a young man, I studied a course on zoology down in Nagini. And my special degree was things in the sea we could turn into snacks or sashimi. Then when I was 19, not a moment too soon, they gave me a Bunsen and a boat with a room, a 10 meter test tube and a science harpoon. And they sent me away to weigh whales. But the scales were really too tiny And wouldn't it give you the ships? Though it made my heart ache for science's sake I chopped the whale into small bits That's your bit. That's your bit. If you can't 
can't do all of it, just do the hack, hack, hack at the end. Nice and loud. Now we eat what we catch, but the size is the thing. There's no thrill putting krill on the barbie. Be it nature or nurture, our vital research, our whales better with soy or wasabi. These minkies are slinky, of that there's no doubt. We can't count the buggers while they're zipping about. It's best to harpoon them and drag the things out. You know we Japanese aren't good with cameras. <laughs> but the camera was really too tiny. And wouldn't it give you the shits? Though it made my heart ache for science's sake. I chopped the whale into small bits. Ra da 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 ya da da da. Our research has now shown that these whales are quite dead. It would be such a shame now to waste them. The Cetacean Foundation for Gastro Innovation. Our motto, you test them, we taste them. I once studied livestock, but the farmer would weep when I used a bazooka for counting his sheep. <laughs> it's a little too noisy for getting to sleep. I'd rather be measuring whales, but the tape measures are really too tiny. And wouldn't it give you the shits? Though it made my heart ache for science's sake, I chopped the whale into small bits. <laughs> So we gathered the crippled, the wounded and maimed, and we served them with sushi and salad. To prove that these whales are not harpoon immune, who says our research isn't valid. The Japanese penchant for cruelty lives on, whether crippling geishas or bombing Hong Kong, and Kurosawa's films are four hours long. <laughs> That's 37 minutes per samurai. <laughs> but the video tape was too tiny. And wouldn't it give you the shits? Though it made my heart ache for science's sake. I chopped the whale into small bits. Ra da 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 da